The head of United Airlines is trying to reassure the traveling public that the airline is safe after a series of recent incidents. CEO Scott Kirby says United will review safety training for all employees. Last Friday, a United Boeing 737-800 landed in Oregon with the panel missing from the underside of the jet. That was discovered after it landed. It was the latest in a string of incidents over the past two weeks, including a couple that ended in emergency landings at LAX. Four of those incidents were on Boeing planes. No one has been hurt. Kirby says the incidents are all unrelated, but says it is sharpening the company's safety focus. With more insight about the ongoing safety concerns in the world of air travel, I'm joined by travel journalist Peter Greenberg. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, as always. What in the it. world is going on with Boeing? Why is this seemingly all happening at once? Well, the CEO of United is correct. Those incidents are unrelated to the bigger problem that you're mentioning at Boeing, its relationship with the FAA, inspections, government oversight, and quality control. That, that investigation is ongoing. It's being treated as an accident. Uh, the NTSB has not been happy with Boeing's results. As a matter of fact, Boeing failed nearly 35 audits uh, that the FAA just did on safety. So there is a criminal investigation that's been reopened in the wake of this. It was once a criminal investigation, you may remember, back when they had the two crashes in 2018 and 2019 of the Boeing 737 MAX in which 346 people lost their lives. But it was a conditional settlement that Boeing got out, got out from under by paying $2.5 billion, the condition being Boeing couldn't repeat that behavior. Now you understand why that criminal investigation has been reopened. But in terms of the incidents that the, that the CEO of United just wrote a letter to all their customers about, Obviously, it's about maintenance. It's about training. They're addressing that. I have every reason to believe that both American United and the other airlines will follow suit. But again, remember, United Airlines in the month of March, just to give you an example, mm -hmm. 131,000 departures in which there have been five incidents, none of which are life-threatening. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I mean, that does provide good perspective and good context. Um, but, you know, of course, we, we focus on those incidents because, I mean, th these are... Massive aircraft, of course. Uh, you, you put your life uh, on the line, so to speak, when you fly. We know that flying is more safe than driving, but when we see another emergency landing, another emergency landing, sure, there's only five in the last few weeks, but that seems to be more than usual. Is that fair? Well, actually, it's not, and I'll tell you why. Hmm. If you and I were to go to the tower at LAX tonight, and tune into the fire department frequency and ask how often the fire department has scrambled on calls at LAX, you'd find out it's about 30 to 40 a day. Now, of those 40, 30 of them are medical calls, right? People either sick or injured at the airport or on planes. Hmm. The other 10 are because warning lights may go off in a cockpit on approach that maybe the landing gear hasn't been lowered properly, or there may be some problem with the fuel. They have to be scrambled for that as well. And guess what? In almost every case, turns out to be a bad warning light and not a bad problem. Wow, okay, so then you're in line with the CEO saying that our aircraft is, they are safe. You know what, relatively speaking, the answer is yes. I fly on planes three to four days a week and you know, I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. Yeah, and speaking of, I know that you, I travel, or travel you, I follow you uh, along in your travels on social media, on Instagram. You were delayed, you had your own plane issue. What happened there? You were in Lima. I was in Lima, Peru, when they said on an American Airlines flight, they had to change a tire. That in itself is not a problem. It takes about 45 minutes to do it. However, we're dealing in the world of outsourcing. American Airlines doesn't have its own mechanics in Lima. They outsource it, and the mechanic that fixed the tire didn't fix the tire at all. He messed it up even more. They brought in what they call a qualified mechanic, God forbid, and he messed it up more. At four hours after we were supposed to depart, we were ended up stuck on the runway when the brakes on that plane locked because of the bad tire fix. Nobody left that airport that night. We were delayed 10 hours. Wow. So even you, the travel journalist, gets stuck of in all course. of this. Uh, of what course. do you make of this really wild story with the Boeing whistleblower? So John Barnett, he was part of a lawsuit against Boeing, and uh, he reportedly dies by suicide. There are calls for that, for his death to be investigated, uh, saying that it really wasn't a suicide. What do you make of all of that? Well, that death will be investigated. But if there's any consolidate, I mean, c consolation here in terms of good news, it's that the material he provided investigators has remained. It's being looked at now, and it will definitely be pursued. 
All right, Peter, we always appreciate your time and putting everything into perspective for us. You got it. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Fly safe.